Hey everybody, welcome back to A Brush With Coaching with me, Martin Carter. So, a few months ago, our eldest son turned 15. Which means, if you take childhood as being the age from 0 to 18, as his dad, I've used up 83% of the time available to me to be his childhood dad. Five, six of his childhood have gone. And that got me thinking about marbles. Because just after we turned one, I scoured the local toy shops until I'd found 884 marbles. Because I'd worked out that was the period of time, the number of weeks and weekends between then, when he was one, and his 18th birthday. And I put them all in a jar. I marked the high water mark on the side of the jar. And I put them on the side. And then every Saturday, I took one out and I carried it with me uh, in my pocket for the week. And why did I do that? Well, the idea was twofold. Firstly, the growing space between the original high water mark and the current top of the stack reminded me of how time can just slip away almost imperceptibly. But the second thing it did was knowing that at the end of the week, both the marble I was carrying and the amount of time, that finite period of time it represented would be gone, challenged me to make the most of every minute. Now at home, what the marble did was increase the quantity and quality of the time I spent with my son. Quantity because it just made sure that I managed my time better, but quality because it quickly made me realise that I could choose how I turned up and sometimes I wasn't choosing wisely. What I found that the events from the day often spilled over into my time in the evening, so I was distracted or I might have been distant or more often than not, I was just grumpy and tired. And what the marble helped me do was realise that I could choose how I turned up. And believe me, nobody was more surprised than me to find out that grumpiness was actually a choice. But what the marble did was help me realise that how I turned up could be a choice and how I was turning up was having an impact on those around me. But the benefits didn't stop there. Because at work, of course, the marble reminded me of my life beyond the office. But it didn't mean that I shirked my responsibility to my employer. And I didn't give up on trying to be successful. Work still demanded early starts and late finishes and trips away. But the marble regularly saved me from doing just one more email or making just one more call before I left the office. And what surprised me most was that once I'd realised that the marble represented not just my son's childhood but also my life and my time, I became more, not less effective in work. So I found myself being a lot more selective about how I spent my time, and I worked hard at not allowing anyone or anything to rob me of it. And so much so that I eventually left the security of the corporate world and became an independent consultant, which is what I do now. I became freelance. Now that's a story for another blog, but what it did mean is that I could manage my time more consciously, uh, which has meant that I've never missed a award ceremony or a recital or a major sporting event that my kids have been involved in. So that has had a profound impact on my work and my home life. So why is this story written in the past tense? Well, after about four years of carrying the marble, I found that this way of thinking and behaving just became second nature to me. And I didn't need the marble anymore to exercise choice and to be consciously managing my mood and my time. And at that point, I, could real, I realized I could leave the marble at home. I didn't need to carry it around with me. Um, so today, I'm not even sure where the marbles are which is a bit sad, really, because I'd love to still have them, but they're in a cupboard, in a box somewhere, maybe in the attic. But the impact of the marble still lives with me. So I started this blog by asking, are you losing your marbles? Um, the question, of course, is, are you consciously managing your time? If you were carrying a marble around with you, would you be consciously, each moment of each day, thinking about how and where you're spending that marble? But of course, if you can do that, what you can ultimately do is lose your marbles because this becomes a new habit and a new way of thinking and a new way of behaving that has you be at your best more of the time. So maybe it's time to buy some marbles. Maybe it's time to lose your marbles. But whatever, my encouragement to you today is to really consciously think about how you're managing your time and how your mood and your feelings and your emotions are having you turn up and impact those around you particularly those who are most important to you. 
That's it for today. Thanks for checking in. See you again soon. Till then, take care. Go well. Bye-bye.